What's going on guys, it's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Today we've got a story about an insane neighbor that uh, actually thinks he's a werewolf. It was sent in to me regardless. Insane neighbor stories are a classic here. We haven't done one in a little bit, so I figured I would tell it to y'all. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. And uh, you know, always be on the lookout. You never know when your neighbor is going to turn into Jacob from Twilight. Alright, so obviously somebody sent this in to me, and the person who did lives in an area where, you know, you can see your neighbor's house, but you can't exactly make out a bunch of details of what's going on. They have a little bit of space between the houses. Regardless, the house that was next door to them ended up going for sale, and, you know, it ended up selling pretty quickly, and a single dude in his 40s ended up moving in, and he seemed nice enough. He came over and introduced himself and was like, hey, I'm new to the neighborhood, you know, I, I just moved in next door and honestly the person who sent this to me just thought it was going to be like any other neighbor you have which is uh essentially you basically forget they exist unless you're looking at them or like talking to them and you don't need to remember that they're there in my opinion that's the ultimate good type of neighbor you guys get along but it's not like you feel some weird obligation to be checking in all the time you know if somebody were to break into your house they'd call the cops but you're also not going to pretend that you want to go hang out with them on friday night let's be realistic here if you're really aware that your neighbors exist either they're your friends or they're horrible neighbors I feel like uh, the best type of neighbor is like a good waiter they always keep your water glass full but they're not standing over your shoulder the entire meal making sure that you eat it all you know you basically for the most part should have a great time interacting with them when you interact but other than that eh, whatever you should just live your life and do your thing you know regardless the subscriber instantly knew something was going to be weird not from the second he introduced himself but from like a couple nights after he moved in he had just so happened to be in his backyard shooting this airsoft gun that he had just got in and it was late at night probably like midnight or so and all of a sudden he hears from his neighbor's property where the guy had just moved in a bunch of howling but, you know, he can't really, like, distinguish what type of howling it is, which, if you've lived somewhere your entire life, is pretty easy to do. Like, you know, if you've lived in one area your entire life, you just kind of become familiar with what sounds are normal and which ones aren't. He knew what a coyote howling sounded like. He knew what a wolf sounding howled like, or a wolf howling sounded like. I flipped that around, sorry. Regardless, though, he's really confused by this howling, because it sounds like it's, you know, just some different type of animal trying to howl howl like almost as if a bear had been listening to some coyotes talking and was like hey I'm gonna go try to pick up on that language you know the Chicago Bears are becoming bilingual regardless you know he's hearing this weird howl he thinks it's a bear howling and uh, decides that it's his best interest to go figure out what it is now at this point you know I'm uh, not agreeing with this action you know call me crazy but if I was there and I started hearing a howl that sounded like a bear trying to imitate a coyote I would simply go there the other direction back inside to the uh, very very safe indoors but the person who sent this to me is obviously different because they went to investigate you know and investigating weird noises in the woods always seems like a recipe for disaster but I especially want to point out that it's stupid because he thought it was a bear and he only had an airsoft gun like what dude if you go out there and it is a bear what are you gonna do shoot it with the airsoft gun all that's gonna do is piss it off then it's gonna enjoy eating you more than it already would have and it's angry you know I'm just saying if you're gonna go exploring for the bear you might want to have something a little bit better than an airsoft gun to protect yourself regardless he starts moving towards the howling and he gets near the property line between him and his neighbor and there was a couple trees so he's looking through the trees and he sees this small fire in his neighbor's backyard which, you know, isn't really that weird. People have fires in their backyard all the time in this area. It's not like it's a super bizarre sight. But what is really weird to the person who sent this to me is what the neighbor is doing around the fire, you know? Instead of just sitting there in a chair, sitting back, relaxing, he's, like, running around the fire, doing a dance, howling. Obviously, he couldn't make out every detail because he was a little bit away. It's literally by the firelight, you know, and he's looking through some trees. But that being said, he's, like, 95% sure 
that his neighbor is in a loincloth with like a wolf's head on, like a like a like a hat type of thing, literally running around howling around the fire and like doing a dance. And he's just kind of looking at it, processing it for quite a long time. Cause obviously you're just kind of like, what? His first thought is WTF, because you know, it's not every day that your new neighbor ends up like trying to do some secret wolf ritual to become the ultimate alpha male of the pack. You know, you never expect to see a dude outside in a loincloth with a wolf's head on chanting going like, I am the werewolf. Regardless, he just kind of takes it in for a bit as you would, you know, definitely not what he was expecting. And he's like, wow, this neighbor seemed like normal. You know, I had gotten kind of a weird vibe, but I never expected this. And so he's watching his neighbor dance and howl around the fire for a bit. But then something happens that took it from just like something weird to something that almost made him crap himself. Out of nowhere, his neighbor like stops his, his dance and his chanting routine, drops onto all fours, almost like he's going to bear crawl, right? Which, you know, is very similar to a dog pose. And overall, he's like, what's happening, dude? Why is this guy dropping into a bear crawl stance? Why is he chanting around the fire? So many questions. But the real terrifying part is this guy drops into this like bear call pros and then starts to go the opposite direction of the person like towards the other end of his property away from the subscriber right but when he starts to bear crawl away you know there's a certain speed you expect a person to be able to bear crawl he says this dude is flying while he's bear crawling like he's bear crawling faster than the subscriber would be able to sprint you know and he's just sitting there like what is happening is this like some weird half human half wolf hybrid and at that point he decides he's had a Enough. He just witnessed this dude going 30 miles per hour mid bear crawl and is like trying to realize that he's living next to Superman So he decides to go back to his house and get some sleep the entire time He's walking back into his house. He's like dude. I have to be hallucinating like there's no way that was real I just witnessed my neighbor doing some weird ritual around a fire with a wolf head on and then he dropped onto all floors and took off with the speed and fuel efficiency of a Volkswagen Jetta like that's just not something that should happen, you know, so obviously he goes inside he goes to bed he's trying to tell himself it's a hallucination but like the entire time he's telling himself that he's getting this weird feeling in his body that's like that was not a hallucination you know we may be stupid sometimes but you can't convince me that that dude bear crawling 30 miles an hour was normal is what his brain's replying right but what really freaked him out is the next day there's a knock on the door and he answers it and his neighbor standing there in normal clothes and is like hey can you talk for a second and he's like uh sure and the neighbor starts to ask him if he heard any weird howling last night and obviously not wanting to give away that he had seen this dude's wolf ritual he decides to play done and he's like oh yeah I, I heard some howling but I just figured it was a pack of coyotes or something you know I didn't really know what it was I'm not too familiar with animal noises obviously you know he's not gonna come out and be like yeah why were you by the fire doing wolf rituals and then crawling with the speed of a small car and when he says that he didn't know what it was and he thought it was the coyote he gets even more concerned because the neighbor's face like relaxes right away you know almost as if he's happy to have heard that and he's like oh yeah that's what I thought too you know I just figured I'd come ask because it scared me I I'm not from the city so or I'm not from here so like I'm not used to noises like that so I figured I would come ask you and just see what it was but you think it was a coyote so yeah I, I figured that's what it is too and at that point the subscribers getting really creeped out because he's like what is this dude doing you know I'm playing dumb but so is he obviously it wasn't coyotes I saw this dude doing it but like he was doing the weird howling last night and now he's knocking on the neighbor's door and double checking that they didn't hear anything weird and he's saying that he knew it was coyotes too. Did he like think he had seen me in the woods or something? He's just starting to get really creeped out because imagine this bro. You see the, your neighbor doing some weird stuff late at night. The next day they're knocking on the door like did you see anything weird? Huh? I'm just asking. Anyways they talk back and forth for a bit and then finally the neighbor like just I guess his suspicions are, are uh, destroyed or like you know he doesn't think that there's anything weird going on so he decides to leave but from the second the guy leaves the subscribers like all right I've got a weird feeling that we're not necessarily done with this yet you know you know when you're like walking away from something and you've just got a feeling that it's gonna come back at some point that's the feeling he got when he closed the door and the neighbor went away which to be fair probably should have been obvious I mean let's be honest here your neighbor thinks he's a werewolf he's doing rituals in his backyard then he's knocking on the door and acting like nothing weird happened I mean you know I'm not saying you deserve 
anything weird to happen or that he's not weird, but it's pretty obvious that the situation had to have gotten more bizarre. You know, I think a guy thinking he's a werewolf is already weird enough. It's not like anything from this point can really be a surprise. You know, like once somebody has punched grandma in the face, everything's off limits. You never know when someone's throwing a plastic chair at the barbecue. Someone already punched grandma. There's no such thing as something being off limits. Anyways, for about a month after that weird conversation, there's no issues. And then sure enough, one night, about a month later, he starts hearing that howling again. He knows it's not a coyote. And, you know, he knows that he probably shouldn't go make sure that it's his neighbor being a crazy person, but he can't help himself. So he works up the courage to go out and see what the howling's from. And he's really hoping that he gets over there and it's not his neighbor, you know, that he just gets over there and his brain will finally be like, see you idiot. Look, it was a wolf the entire time. You were just hallucinating. Anyways, he's going to investigate, and he sneaks through the wood, and he sees the same thing, bro. The guy's doing his ritual around the fire, wolf hat on, the whole shebang, you know, howling the whole nine. And the only thing that freaks him out right away is the guy's looking his direction this time, and he looks directly at him and then looks away. And for some reason, he's like, he saw me, you know? The guy goes back to his dancing and stuff, but he just gets this really weird feeling that the dude has seen him. So he kind of like grows back into the uh, tree line a little bit to try to conceal him and regardless the neighbor's doing his thing jumping around the fire and then all of a sudden he stops and he does that thing where he drops onto all fours except this time instead of going the opposite direction he starts bear crawling as fast as he can which is surprisingly fast towards the subscriber who's thought he was hidden in the tree line and at that point, he's looking at it for a second, and he realizes, oh, he's coming at me. Like, he's not just coming this direction, he is coming to me. So at that point, he drops everything, turns around, and starts running, literally about to crap himself, which, I mean, who can blame him, dude? Imagine being in this situation. You hear howling, you're outside hiding behind some trees, there's a grown man in a loincloth bear crawling at you with the speed of a car, and then, like, you know, you just don't know what's about to happen. Of course you'd be scared about to crap yourself. Any would in that situation. I don't care who you are. You could be the toughest person on the planet. If somebody just starts bear crawling at you unhumanly fast, you're freaking out. Anyways, he starts running back to his house, you know, but his surprise is that instead of hearing like nothing behind him, he hears something gaining on him. And so he's kind of like, there's no way that this guy is literally bear crawling fast enough to catch up with me as I'm running. The number one rule, if you're running away from something though, you don't turn back and look. The only thing it's gonna do is slow you down or freak you out if they're really close to you. You know, anyways, they break the rule and they look back to see what's gaining on them. And all they see is like the top of the wolf head crawling right behind them and gaining on them. So they turn around and start trying to run even faster. But the only problem is like at that point by turning around, you can't run as fast. You know, they're freaking out. They're even more scared because they realize that this person's bear crawling and going to catch up to them. And so like even with all their might with that boost of fear, it's just not enough to keep him from catching up to him. And he feels the wolf man grab him on his shoulder. And instead of tackling him and like taking a chunk out of his arm with the first bite, he just spins him around. And now they're probably like six inches from each other's face. They're practically kissing and they like just start screaming because they're both scared, right? It was almost as if the wolfman didn't think that he was actually going to be able to catch him. And so he grabbed him and turned him around, like not really thinking about it. And obviously you just got turned around by the wolfman. So they're just screaming, ah, like both freaking out, you know, I don't know why the wolfman was surprised you did chase him down like that entire time you're bear crawling after him and grabbing him like what did you think he was gonna do like did you think he was gonna turn around and be like oh this is a perfectly normal situation I've been kidnapped by werewolves multiple times in my life obviously he's gonna be screaming and why are you screaming like you know it's just I, I just don't understand regardless they're just kind of screaming in each other's faces and finally the werewolf guy kind of realizes that he's like not trying to fight back he just has his hand on his shoulder and he's like wait you're not trying to hunt me and obviously the subscribers like what hunt you like what what are you talking about? Why would I be trying to hunt you? Like, I'm not crazy. I understand that you're a man dressed up like a wolf, you know? Like, I, I don't think I'm gonna hunt you. And obviously, the guy kind of looks at him weird, and he goes, I'm not dressed like a wolf. I'll have you know that I am a werewolf. This is part of my transformation, and the reason that I thought you were hunting me is because that everyone wants to hunt a werewolf. And immediately, he's like, oh, my neighbor thinks that he's a werewolf. He's wearing this wolf hat once a month, and, like, he thinks that he's a werewolf and people want to hunt him. Anyways, he tries to be like, dude, I, you know, I don't really believe in werewolves, so you 
don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to be hunting you because, you know, I just don't believe in werewolves. And he thinks that's probably the best way out of this is to just, you know, he's not saying you suck for thinking you're a werewolf. He's just saying, I personally don't do the whole werewolf thing. But somehow the neighbor thinks that him doubling down on werewolves not existing is the weird part of this, even though he's literally dressed like a wolf howling at the full moon. And so he kind of like does a spin in a circle and he goes, if you really think werewolves aren't real, then what would you call me? You know, as if that was supposed to make the guy be like, oh yeah, you're right. Now that I'm seeing you do a 360, werewolves do exist. My goodness, you're not just my weird neighbor in a loincloth screaming at the moon in the backyard. Nope, no way. That's not what's happening. Like, honestly, if you weren't right in front of me and just shown that you had the ability to bear crawl faster than a car, I would call you crazy. Somebody that thinks they're a werewolf and is like actually chanting at the full moon and thinking they're transforming into an animal. I, I would call you nuts. You know, that being said, it's probably not a good idea to look at somebody that thinks they're a werewolf and transform into a creature on the full moon and go, I think that you are nuts. And even, you know, let's pretend werewolves do exist for a second, right? You know, uh, like, let's pretend that they are real. Even if you do exist and you are a werewolf, right? Why would he be hunting you? Like, I, I just don't understand why your neighbor, who hasn't been hunting you so far, would magically just want to be hunting you if he didn't even know what your howl was the last time. Anyways, the subscriber's just kind of standing there hearing him listen to this, and he's realizing that this guy's nuts, so he probably shouldn't go around telling him that, like, he's not a werewolf, you're crazy. So he just decides to roll with it, and he goes, oh, okay, I guess that's fair enough, you know. Th that's fair. If werewolves aren't real, then how would I explain you? Because obviously, when somebody's just, like, this crazy thinking they're a werewolf, bro, it's probably easier to just roll with it. I mean, I'm not saying that it's normal to think you're a werewolf, but if somebody's like, I'm a vampire, you know, it's it's not your family member and you're just kind of dealing with them at the grocery store. It's probably easier to smile and nod and go, yeah, you are. You know, you don't want to be the person to tell him he's crazy. We all are in agreement here, but that's not your responsibility. Because in this situation, you're screwed either way. You either do live next door to a werewolf, which who would want to live next door to a werewolf? Or you live next to a dude who thinks he's a werewolf. And both of those are not exactly super fun. And neither of those sound like the type of person who you want to be on the bad side of. You know, if he is an actual werewolf, it's not like you want him thinking of you next full moon. And if he's just a crazy dude, you just want him to kind of forget you exist. Let's just, uh, you know, drop off the radar, call Lester, remove our wanted level from the werewolf real quick. You know, it's just that simple. And so obviously he's trying to twist it now and convince him that he's not a werewolf hunter. And he goes, oh, yo, remember last time we talked, I told you that I didn't recognize the howling. So when I heard it this time, I just came to investigate. I don't want to hurt you. You know, I'm not a hunter at all. And the neighbor looks very relieved as he's saying this because he's letting his guard down. He's like, oh, okay, bet. Bet he's not a werewolf hunter, which, you know, I didn't realize was actually still a job. Call me crazy, you know, I'm not browsing Indeed.com quite often, but I didn't realize that werewolf hunting was still a, a booming career profession. Maybe it's uh, on the way out, you know? None of my friends went to a school that had a werewolf hunting program that you could get a degree in, or would it be more of like just a, a very specific type of exterminator? You know, there's the type of guy that deals with rats like Ratatouille, you know, maybe a guy deals with some other vermin, some raccoons, some possums something like that. But every now and then, if you've got a really bad problem, Wallace and Gromit, in the case of the were-rabbit, you just call in the uh, vampire werewolf hunter and he takes care of that. It's a, a experimental extermination trade you guys can go into. Regardless, at that point, it's almost like the neighbor trusts him and he can reveal his, uh, you know, werewolf secret. So he starts talking about how he's a werewolf and people in his last town were starting to hunt him, so he had to move here and that's why he moved in in such a hurry. And the entire time, the sub's just smiling and nodding, pretending that all of this makes sense, because once again, you just don't want to be the dude to tell crazy werewolf guy that he is a crazy werewolf dude, you know? Especially now if he's talking about how people are out to hunt him, it's definitely not worth it. And uh, after a while, he finally gets the venting out about how hard it is to be a werewolf, and he looks at his neighbor, and he shakes his hand, and he goes, man, thank you for being cool about this, you know? Usually, people aren't very understanding about it. And he's like, oh, what do you mean people aren't understanding about you? being a werewolf usually. And he's like, well, usually when I tell people that I'm a werewolf and I have the ability to shapeshift and every full moon I become a wolf, they uh, get intimidated by my power and pull away. 
but I can tell that you have a true warrior spirit and understand the werewolf heart. I can, uh, you know, understand that you are not intimidated by my power. And listen, dude, I don't think they're pulling away because they're afraid of your werewolf power. They're afraid of sentences where people say that, like, if you do not have a warrior heart, you cannot understand the power of a werewolf. You know, it just kind of makes people maybe feel a little unsafe. Like, if I thought you were just friendly neighbor Hank, you know, you were over here fixing my fridge, and then you start telling me about how people are hunting you and you're a werewolf, I might just avoid going outside if you're outside in the future. Nothing personal, you know, I'm I'm just afraid of werewolves. It's it's a phobia of mine, uh, it, it, really bad phobia of dogs. So, werewolves, whoosh, basically the same thing, I just can't be around it. You know, no offense, Hank, thanks for fixing the fridge, but uh, I'm not gonna take the chances of getting turned into a werewolf myself. Even better, dude, if you don't want to be around your neighbor and he's saying he's a werewolf, this is your perfect chance to just tell him you're allergic to dogs, you know? Because then he can't come around you. You're not calling him crazy, you're not saying you don't believe that he's a werewolf, because, you know, you don't want to be the person to do that, that's someone else's problem. And that being said, you are giving him a reason that he can't come hang out with you that, like, he'll understand. Oh, fair enough. You're allergic to dogs. Yeah, you can't be around werewolf hair. That makes sense. Okay, does it really? No, but he thinks he's a werewolf, all right? We gotta work with what we got. Regardless, anyways, the neighbor finishes talking, and instead of just walking back to his property, no, that's not a, what a werewolf would do. He drops on all fours and goes back to his fire, and just kind of leaves this dude standing there more confused than he's been in his entire life. You know, very few things I think are more confusing than the first time you meet an IRL werewolf, okay? Very intimidating, but he does have a warrior's heart, don't forget that. Regardless, he's just kind of standing there, goes inside, and is thinking, thinking about it, and he's like, all right, obviously the dude might be uh, a little bit out there, but I'm just gonna avoid crossing that neighbor and just avoid interacting with him in general, and uh, he didn't go around telling people because he figured nobody would believe him. I mean, honestly, imagine going and being like, hey, you know the dude that just moved in? Uh, he thinks he's a werewolf, especially because what was really confusing, the dude acted normal every other time. Like, it wasn't like he told anyone else he's a werewolf, it wasn't like he was being weird other than when it was a full moon, you know, and then he's a werewolf. Like, seriously, dude was at H&R Block filing taxes at 4 p.m. and then howling at the moon at midnight type of vibe. You know, a real werewolf professional. Each month without failure, though, on the full moon, he would, like, be out there howling, which, you know, is something that you never really think in the modern times you're gonna be hyper aware of. I, maybe some people are super into the moon. I just feel like I would never really know if it's a full moon or not. But because of this dude's neighbor just out there doing his little wolf ritual thing, this subscription Scriber has to like keep track of the moon just to make sure he's not accidentally out in the backyard on a full moon. You know, you gotta know when the phases are coming. Just so that way you, uh, you get your waning gibbous on, or whatever, waxing, I, I can't think of the other one. Regardless, there's moon phases and stuffs, but you don't want to be out there if your neighbor's a werewolf on a full moon. No, thank you, that's how you end up going missing and, uh, being a dog toy. Imagine somehow in all of this that he's, like, actually a werewolf and we look crazy for just making fun of it and assuming he's just a little bit off the rocker, you know? Like, next time he actually transforms into a werewolf and, like, throws a car at his neighbor's house, with his newfound strength. I don't really know what werewolves get when they transform other than being a werewolf. Like, I don't know if that comes with super strength or not, but it should. Like, if you're gonna be cursed to turning into a monster once a month, you might as well be able to throw a car while you're the monster. Because uh, I feel like now that I'm thinking about actually being a werewolf, it would suck. There's really not many benefits to this if it's real. Obviously, it's not. He's not a werewolf. But think about it, dude. You just are, like, stuck inside for the full moon no matter what, you know. Y you're just going to lose control of your body once a month and turn into an uncontrollable killing machine giant dog thing, you know. Like, hey, maybe this guy's not. He seems like a peaceful werewolf. Maybe the, the movie's got it wrong. I just feel like there's really no benefits to being a werewolf. You know, vampire immortality, not for me, but I could understand why people could want it. I, I'm not getting the whole werewolf vibe. Regardless, I just kind of figured you guys would enjoy that story because it involves a crazy neighbor and it's a bit different from the other stuff we've been talking about lately. So, uh, you know, if you did enjoy it, I would appreciate you taking a second to press the like button and comment werewolf down below if you made it this far. It just helps the video do better. I'd appreciate it. And, uh, you know, since you're down there commenting, you might as well subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss another one. Okay, give me credit. It was smooth.
smooth. Other than that, if you want to give a listen to the intro song, I'll put a link in the description. It's by my friend Poncho. Feel free to go check it out. Also, in the description, you'll find a link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast, or, of course, you could use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout to get a discount on G Fuel. Help me out at the same time. Other than that, something else you can do to help me out. I do go ahead and post these story times on Spotify, so if you want to do me a favor, the top link in the description is a link to that Spotify show if you want to listen without gameplay offline, whatever floats your boat. And of course, the last link's going to be a link to the merch store. If you want to get yourself the coolest merch to ever exist in the history of the planet, you can do that. As you can tell, it's beautiful. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that'll do it. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I will see each and every single one of you guys next time in another video. I'm out. Peace.